Hello, today I'm reading Femi and the Mindfulness Machine, written by me, Flo Fielding, and illustrated by Soya Cloud. Femi was working on a project for Science Day at school. I need pens for planning, tools for building, and lots of time for testing, said Femi. Soon the project was finished. What is it? asked Gran. It's a wind machine, said Femi. When you blow the windmill, the blades spin round and create enough power to lift the paper cup. Wow, said Gran. But Femi felt sad because sometimes the wind machine worked and sometimes it didn't. Does it matter if the wind machine doesn't lift the cup every time? asked Gran. Miss King says that the different parts of a machine work together to do something, so I think it does matter. I'm blowing as hard as I can, but I need more power. Femi was quiet at bedtime, but his thoughts buzzed. What if my wind machine doesn't work tomorrow, Gran? What if I'm too nervous to explain? And what if Miss King thinks that I didn't try hard enough? yourself, said Gran. Hurry, hurry has no blessings. What does that mean? asked Femi. Come downstairs and I'll show you, said Gran. Gran started making her special hot chocolate. Why does your hot chocolate always taste so good, Gran? asked Femi. My first secret is science. I pour the hot chocolate from one mug to another so it picks up cold air, which cools the drink down perfectly. What's the second secret? Femi asked. Hurry, hurry has no blessings, uttered Gran. As I make it, I take my time. When we feel anxious, slowing down and paying attention to our thoughts can help us feel better. It's called mindfulness. Sometimes I take deep breaths in and out to help me relax too, continued Gran. The best way to tackle any problem is to breathe slowly and stay calm. Right, it's time to taste it. Femi gripped the warm mug and watched the frothy bubbles ping and pop before he slowly took a sip. Slowing down makes it taste better too. Sometimes, Femi, it's not what you do, it's the way that you do it, said Gran, with a wink. On the morning of Science Day, Femi felt strange. My legs are too wobbly to walk to school. My hands are too hot to carry the wind machine. Can I stay at home with you today, Gran? Gran put the wind machine in a big box. Feeling nervous is normal, she said. It shows that your body is ready for a challenge. Don't forget to breathe slowly and stay calm. Blowing bubbles can help slow down breathing too, so I've put some bubbles in your pocket, just in case you need them. At school, The sports hall was split into four zones for Science Day, one for each class. All the children were very excited. Femi, called Jaden, your table's next to mine. Wow, that volcano is awesome, said Femi. Thanks, I really want to win a science prize, said Jaden. What have you made? As Femi lifted the wind machine out of the box, Jaden came over and prodded it. What does this do? Jaden asked. Femi blew the wind machine. Nothing happened. His tummy fluttered. He wanted to go home. Then he remembered what Gran had taught him. Femi took a deep breath. A few minutes later, Femi was feeling a lot better. Gran's deep breathing really did work, even if his wind machine didn't. 
as Miss King moved towards Femi's zone of the hall, some of his classmates started to feel anxious. I'm so nervous, I feel sick, said Pooey. What if Miss King doesn't like my project, said Farida anxiously. I completely forgot about Science Day and I have nothing to present, said Max as he burst into tears. Femi reached into his pocket, took a slow, deep breath and thought hard. Quick, everyone, gather round. I have an idea, he said. OK, guys, this is the plan, said Femi excitedly. When Miss King finally reached Femi's table, she got a big surprise. Welcome to our science project, announced Femi. We are practicing mindfulness by breathing in one, two, three, four, five, and then breathing out one, two, three, four, five. Welcome to the mindfulness machine, said Femi excitedly. As Femi and his friends blew out, hundreds of tiny bubbles streamed into the air and something small and amazing whizzed into life too. It was the wind machine. While Miss King looked at the last few tables, the rest of Femi's class crowded around him. How does it work? asked Jack. Can I join the mindfulness machine? said Layla. Me too, and me, insisted the others. Everyone is welcome, said Femi. Soon it was time for Miss King to give out the prizes. Third prize goes to Jaden for his baking soda volcano. Second prize goes to Iris for her water filtering tower. And first prize goes to Femi and his team for the magnificent mindfulness machine. Miss King continued. We have been learning that a machine has different parts that work together to perform a task. It was a brilliant idea to involve your classmates as the parts of your machine and create both mindfulness and wind power. Well done, Femi. Excellent teamwork. When Gran collected Femi, she admired his first prize sticker. Did the wind machine work then? she asked. It did, said Femi. But wait until you hear where the wind power came from and what I did with the bubbles. Oh, and Gran, you were right about what you said too. Really? said Gran, smiling. What was that? Sometimes it's not what you do, it's the way that you do it.